In case you have never seen the previous chapters of the Godzilla franchise or you have forgot the stories, you don't have to waste 10 hours right now watching the previous movies. This 5 minute video has enough information for you to get the deepest understanding and maximum enjoyment from the next movie. According to the franchise, there is a whole new world beneath the ground which belongs to the ancient titan creatures that we perceived to be extinct during the ancient times. But these creatures are still alive and they have their own world over there with a very unique ecosystem. These creatures have a radioactive biological system which is the major source of their energy. They might consume other animals as a source of food but the radioactive fission and fusion energy from the core of this planet gives them the power to survive. So don't be surprised if you see these creatures consuming uranium and plutonium to charge themselves or perform any kind of reproductive activity. Also don't be surprised if these creatures emit EMP charge from their body and destroy all the electronic devices within the bubble of the radiation. Now let me introduce you to the most important creators in the movie, Godzilla and Kong. These are extremely powerful creators that have defeated other destructive creators in the entire franchise that include male and female Mutos, skull crawlers from the skull island of Kong, Ghidorah which is an alien from another planet, and finally a robot Godzilla developed by Apex Cybernetics in the most recent movie of 2021. Godzilla and Kong have been portrayed as the protector of this earth from the other dangerous titan creatures. In chapter 3 there had been a rivalry between Godzilla and Kong, but they later realized that they are not enemy to each other, they both can peacefully coexist. Kong has been depicted to be the last of his own kind who had a habitat in Skull Island, but maybe we can get to see any family member of Kong being still alive, and I hope it happens. Monarch is an organization that performs research activities to study and control the ancient titan creatures. They want to study these creatures to see if they can get anything valuable from their body to create medicine and other valuable elements. Apex Cybernetics by the way is a technology based company that created a robot Godzilla to eliminate the actual Godzilla and the other titan creatures. But it got shredded into pieces by the combined effort of Kong and Godzilla. You will also get to see a new enemy of Godzilla. Godzilla and Kong, which is the Scar King who rules the Hollow Earth and now desires to dominate the entire planet. And do not confuse this animal with Godzilla. This is Shimo, another ancient titan and a very good ally of Kong. Shimo can blast eyes from its mouth just like the ice dragon from Clash of Clans. Dr. Serizawa and Dr. Emma Russell used to research at Monarch Organization and they both had a common interest in these titan creatures. Dr. Serizawa wanted to learn more about these creatures, especially the Gojira aka the Godzilla. But Dr. Emma on the other side had a belief that the release of both friendly and dangerous titans can restore ecological balance to this planet. The radioactive presence of the titans can enrich our ecosystem ensuring the abundance of life on earth. But it was actually a very unrealistic and perhaps a horrific idea. Now she is Maddie, the daughter of Emma and Mark. She played a vital role in both chapter 3 and 4 of the movie. But unfortunately, this amazing character played by Miley Bobby Brown is not coming back. But I need to tell you about one thing that her mother Dr. Emma created a device named Orca, o -R -C -A, which could replicate the frequencies of the alpha creatures and communicate with them. So don't be surprised if this device is introduced again in the next movie. Don't be surprised if you get to see containers like this. They are biodomes used for the containment of the titan creatures. The roof of the domes replicate the texture of the sky and the surroundings to make the creatures inside feel like they're not being captured at all. The famous nuclear test in 1954 conducted by the United States government was actually done to eliminate Godzilla but the radiation awakened his power instead. The titans have a rivalry against each other to dominate everyone else so don't be surprised if you get to see any creature trying to 
intimidate or even destroy the other creatures to become the alpha ruler above everybody else. These titans are hungry for power and domination. This is an oxygen destroyer that can deplete the oxygen level to near zero which can cause the death of any living organisms within the blast radius including even the titans like the Godzilla or even the Kong. Let's talk about three previous characters from this franchise who are coming back in the new movie. This is Eileen Andrews from Chapter 4 who has been studying the behaviors of Kong for over 10 years in Skull Island under the Monarch Containment Facility to understand his true nature. This is Bernie Hayes who is a former technician of Apex Cybernetics and a covert investigator. He is the one who had a doubt from the very beginning that Apex is developing something dangerous for the humanity which eventually turned out to be a robot Godzilla. Finally this is Gia or Shia, I don't know what the actual spelling is, a member of the ancient tribe living in the Skull Island. She was orphaned by an unfortunate storm that took place in the island killing everyone in her family. She has the ability to communicate with Kong using a sign language. She is the only person who is trusted by Kong in the entire island. Also don't be surprised if you get to see this guy in the next movie. This guy is Alan, a former British colonel who turned into an eco-terrorist. In chapter 3 he stole the Orca made by Dr. Mark and Dr. Emma and attempted to awaken all the Titan creatures in the hope that their awakening can restore full ecological balance to this planet. This man was not dead in the third installment of the movie, so it's not going to be a surprise if this guy makes a comeback with another batshit crazy idea.